Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Fencing instructor Franco Scaramuza was able to stop a robbery by charging the criminals with his sword drawn, marking the only time this sport will ever make the news. Vladimir Putin will soon be featured in a video game in which he kills zombies. Move over, Abraham Lincoln, because your vampire movie was terrible anyways. A singer at an Alzheimer's benefit concert forgot her lyrics, but luckily so did the crowd. I'm Howard with Mustang Update, and this is your News of the Week. The cost of an inmate in New York last year is now over $100,000, enough to pay for a college degree. Of course, the difference is that it's a time of personal development and learning, as well as meeting new people that you will probably remember for the rest of your life, while the other happens to be going to college. J.J. Abrams, director of the recent Star Trek movies, has recently apologized for his overuse of lens flare. However, most fans were forgiving, finding lens flare to be far less annoying than shaky cam. After 17 years in development, the U.S. military's F-35 fighter jet remains incomplete, with estimates that the program will cost an additional $300 billion to develop and another $1 trillion to maintain, leaving us with only one question. Why hasn't the military invested in building a giant fighting robot with that money? And finally, Google turns 15 this week, celebrating with a piñata game on its homepage. NASA, on the other hand, gets to celebrate turning 55 by being shut down by the U.S. government. Now folks, let's be serious for a moment. The government of the United States shut down this Tuesday for the first time in almost 20 years. I don't know when it'll come back, or even if it has already come back by the time you're watching this. But I do know this. Nearly a million people went out of work Tuesday without any pay. Our nation's national parks, the Centers for Disease Control, and the Smithsonian ceased operations this Tuesday. 200 patients who would have been admitted to the National Institute of Health were turned away this Tuesday. And on this Tuesday, our Congress continued to pass the blame back and forth to each other as they are still being paid in this shutdown. I'm not here to take sides in this debate, and I'm not here to tell you to think one way or another. I'm here only to tell you what has happened so far. Perhaps this shutdown does not affect you. Perhaps you don't know anyone else who has been affected. But this is not an issue to take as lightheartedly as anything else that I talk about on this show. Please, educate yourselves about what is going on. Don't let this just be another passing story. I'm Howard with Mustang Update, and as always, this has been your News of the Week. Hey Mustangs, come support your Walnut Wrestling team by going to Nature's Juice at the Village today between 3 and 8 p.m. 25% of all profit will be donated to help fund your wrestling team. Make sure you go and show your support. Thanks. What's up Mustangs? This is Jamil Moore with your weekly school news. If you didn't get your car washed last week by Ghost Basketball, then you have one more chance because our softball team will be washing cars this Saturday from 9 to 12. Remember, a clean car is a happy car. And you want a happy car, right? Next Friday, we have our fall pep rally. Experience a great time with your friends and other students and support your school. All right, this is Jamil Moore from Mustang Update, and I'll see you next time. Hey, Mustangs. Homecoming tickets go on sale on Monday, October 7th in the ASB room. Couples who have ASB, the tickets from the 7th to 11th, they are $34. From the 14th to 18th, they are $39. And from the 21st to the 25th, they are $44. Couples without ASB, the tickets from the 7th to 11th are $44. From the 14th to the 18th, they are $49. And from the 21st to 25th, they are $54. For singles with ASB, for the 7th to 11th, they are $21. For the 14th to the 18th, they are $24. And from the 21st to the 25th, $27. For singles without ASB, from the 7th to 11th, they are $27. From the 14th to the 18th, they are $30. And from the 21st to the 25th, they are $33. Are you tired of eating the same food every day? 
Are you tired of not having enough time to chew and swallow your food? Houston here, and this is the pinnacle of human ingenuity. Introducing the Foodomatic 2000. It has been blending everything that the human has been demanding since the beginning of time. It can blend food. It can blend plastic. It can blend wherever the hell this is. Do you want some delicious apple juice? It is simple as one, two, three with the Foodomatic 2000. First, you put in your apple products. And then you close the lid. Lastly, you press the band button. Voila! Mm-mm, good apple juice. Hmm, delicious. How much are you gonna pay for this? Are you paying $100 for it? Are you gonna pay $200 for it? Are you gonna pay $400 for it? No! We will sell this to you for 40 bucks. Plus, if you call our number now, we will send you your own personal robot. Call now. Our number is 1-800-FRUDOMANAGE.COM. Only $40 for the include shipping and handling. Some side effects may include cancer, salmonella, diarrhea, pregnancy, extra legs, radiation poisoning, and PTSD. Call now. How lucky can one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me. As the fellow once said, ain't that a kick in the head? The room was completely black. I hugged him and he hugged back. But the sin is in court. Ain't that a hole in the wall? Life is quite absurd, and that's the final word. You must always face the curtain with a bow. Don't you remember? Sure, she's got it all. But baby, is that really what you want? In the torn up town, no postcode envy. But every song's like gold teeth, gray goose, tripping in the bathroom, blood stains, ball gowns, trash in the hotel room. We don't care. We'll drive the Cadillacs in our dreams. I could have danced, danced in 